Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can um, change your Chrome cache folder. And I'm also going to try to sh I'll show you how you can change it back also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the location of my Chrome cache folder, which is on C drive, to another hard drive. So I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you do is you go to go right there to computer or start uh, Windows Explorer and uh, go to C drive go to users my username is H on this computer so that's where it is so go to app data it's, lo it's in the local then it's Google and it's Chrome user data default then it's in cache this is where this is the folder that has all your cache on it there's also another folder which is called media cache I think media cache has all the streaming video streaming stuff on it so we're going to put both folders into another directory on another hard drive on my computer. I'm going to do that right now. So this is where it's located, so I'm going to copy this and put it on my hard drive. I already did it, but I'll do it again. paste it here and then this is the hard drive that I want to move it to so E drive cache actually I want to change a few things I'm going to put chrome cache Chrome Media Cache. So two folders. Okay. These are the two folders I want to change. So the first thing we have to do is we have to delete the cache folder or we need to change the name so I'm just going to change the name to cache A and for media cache I'm going to change the name to A also media cache A so if if this name exists if cache and media cache exists you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to link the hard drive to another directory because the cache folders exist and there's stuff in it so you're not going to be able to link something that already exists so that's why I got rid of it it's okay um, so the next thing we have to do is we need to use the MK link command. So I'm going to use it for both for cache and media cache. So we know it's in this folder right here. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste here and I'm going to put uh, media cache. E drive cache from media cache. I just, just copy and paste it, save our save time. Okay. 
So next thing we have to do is open up command prompt. I'm just going to run it as administrator. I don't think it matters. So I'm just going to copy all of this. And just paste it right here. And press enter. So it worked. So the symbolic ring, uh, link was created for the first one. And the next one, I'm going to copy that and paste it as well. And enter. They were created for both of them, no errors. So I want to see if this really works or not, if it's really linked. Um, you see a shortcut folder, like right there. I'm going to go to properties and see where it is going. It's going to E Drive Cache Chrome Cache, which is here. And for the other one, for Media Cache, it's going to E Drive Chrome Media Cache, which is right there. I'm going to open up Chrome and see if the cache starts filling up. Okay. Um, as you can see, Chrome cache, this folder right here, and this folder has the same amount of things, which means everything that's in this folder is going to this folder and this is E drive this is an E drive and this is the one that I just created so it's working so the reason for doing this uh, is for people who have like SSD drives they may not want to have the cache on the SSD drive because it causes wear and tear on the SSD drives. Also, in addition, um, SSD drives have less memory than mechanical hard drives. So they don't, they wouldn't want to, they wouldn't want to like uh, lose uh, valuable space. Plus, there's less wear and tear on the SSD drive because the SSD drives wear out with um, writing and erasing data. That's what happens to cache. Because for cache, let's say you set the cache limit to 133 megabytes. So after the cache um, reaches about 133 megabytes, it automatically deletes it and then cache is repopulated back into the folder but with a mechanical hard drive you don't have that problem because uh, mechanical hard drives are cheap and they, they have larger capacities than SSD drives so that's that's a reason for doing it okay thanks for watching I forgot one more uh, I I told I in the beginning of the video I said uh, you could revert it back to its original state and I'll show you how to do that okay this cache folder was created right so I'm just going to delete this. And I'm going to run Chrome again. I'm going to uh, close Chrome and I'm going to go back. Um, now you see another cache folder was created just right now. And now all the cache is going back into C drive. So that's how you could you could undo what you just did. And I'll do the same for this drive as well. 
for media cache I'll just delete it and uh, okay let's see that was created well it's not created because um I'm not streaming any videos, but let me stream some videos. Let me go to YouTube. Okay, let me get out of this. Well, the link was deleted, so it should just revert back to its normal state. So this cache folder, I'm just going to merge it into here. Okay. That's it. That's how you just undo what you just did. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as deleting the link and um, everything the cache folder would just be recreated and repopulated. Same thing with the media cache folder. Okay, that's it.